Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Monday, February the 3rd, 2014, Fukushima Day 1060. Okay, by now I'm sure everyone knows here that Fukushima Reactor 4 has a spent fuel pool. They've built this big structure here. They're about to remove some of the fuel pools, which have already begun. There's over 1,500 rod, uh, fuel rod assemblies. The fuel rod assemblies sit in what they, it's called a channel box. And now I'm back in December 2013, uh, uh, 27th, 2013, uh, TEPCO discovered here that some of them had dents in them and cracks. And uh, they've gone back down here, and that's the latest news here. They, we've got some videos. I'll get into some of that here, as well as some uh, other not so so not so surprising news if you've been following me along okay so this is the video here um, I'll leave a link to the video everything's from the TEPCO website it's all down below in the show more tab down below this video as well as all the links to all the stories I'll play some of the footage here as you can see it's clearly cracked uh, was this something that happened in the past because this is what TEPCO is claiming here on, on that latest uh, that last page I don't know if you saw it but TEPCO is claiming that these are incidents that have happened in the past that caused these cracks I'm not sure. Uh, that's a pretty big dent. Uh, it's a nasty crack. Now, they also, uh, I'm not sure if you noticed that, but let me get back to it. They went on to say that um, there was no change in the radioactive material concentration in water of the spent fuel pool and the doses, obtain, um, and the doses obtained by the monitor, area monitoring. So they're basically saying that the cracks have not affected the radiation. It's still normal. Uh, there's no, uh, you know, meltdown taking place the rods are intact and uh, well I'm not sure about you but um, the rods may be intact but for some reason the channel box isn't and they're saying this is a past incident it's going to take a hell of a dent to, to, to crack a fuel box like that and why didn't they notice it in the past I don't not sure why did it take all this long for them to finally notice now because I'm sure this this um, channel box has been taken out of the, the fuel pool before so I'm surprised that it took all this time for them to finally discover here that it has a major dent in it and a crack. Uh, now on the on the website, TEPCO website, what I like about it is also you'll be able to see some video here on the uh, pooling water. Uh, you know they have all these tanks here to collect all the wastewater. I've talked about in past videos how they're leaking. Some of the tanks are leaking. Some of that leak is actually going down below. It's mixing in with the underground water but here you get to see some of the videos of some of the water just pooling around and all banged off not a pretty sight not a pretty sight okay I gotta move along here with some of the other stuff uh, like I said the links are down below okay and you know I'm putting this up here because I really uh, my goal has always been to inform people I don't make any money I don't have any ads uh, I put a donation up on one occasion in the past here and that was back when I did the radiation tour cross Canada radiation tour in 2011 uh, I made a video I mentioned it I said if you ha if you want to help me out I'm spending my own money I'm doing a tour I'm putting up a donation button if you want to help out that's great if you can't afford it don't help out I'm doing the tour without your help I was very clear about that I have received some nasty emails like just the other day again another well-known radiation person here who makes videos she's called me name I can't handle this crap folks I don't know what the, what your game is and what you want to do and try to discredit me I don't make no money and I've, I've got a a box full of, 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 of track records where I've called the prices of silver the the the, the, the radiation the, the from Fukushima I was on top of that the vaccine scare h1h1 I had inside information from Canadian officers that were trying to warn me I've done non-stop in 2008 is when I began I joined a multitude of, of forums here to, to warn people that the Illuminati plan on crashing the stock market in September 2008 I even warned my friends my mother my stepdad everyone no one would listen to me they didn't believe me. No, oh, you're spending too much time on the internet that's what they told me well I was dead right I even called my mother the day before are you, are you ready mom because I, I was worried about my mother she has all of her life savings here and, and diverse stocks I was worried about her. are you ready mom I tried to get you out she wouldn't listen to me a hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars is what my mother lost on the first crash so don't come out here and tell me that I'm a shill and I'm here to scam people and lie and I made this video here on Fukushima Day 1055 to let people know that Reactor 4 is real, folks. They've had to rebuild a structure on the, ex on the exterior of the of Reactor 4 because the reactor itself had suffered cracks. And I showed here there was cracks running on the side of the building. It was unstable. We all know this. It's no big secret. So they built this extra structure. I mean, there's no big, uh, no big surprise here. 
architectural defeat? Not. Nothing really special. They just couldn't have the machine that rolls back and forth to pull out the fuel rod assemblies. They couldn't have it putting its weight on the initial building because it was had just been blown. An explosion had taken place inside there. So they built this exterior. This is not a tent. This is the real thing, folks. Anyways, hopefully you stay informed here and fall out of that camp where people are telling you that it's all fake. It's not fake. This is the real thing. Okay, moving along here. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but it's, it, this is one of the things I received nasty emails and people laughing at me. Like, <laughs> And the other one was the images. Maybe, I remember I posted the videos here. These were images that were posted by the Switzerland, the Embassy of Switzerland in Japan. I'm sorry if I... I I didn't say it quite right in my videos, but I left the link there and I was very, uh, I wasn't hiding anything. I showed here how they, they published this stuff. And, and now then I got like a whole other series of nasty emails. People tell me, no, 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 that's not real. They're saying uh, that the corium, that the corium itself was not at the right position and that uh, everything was wrong. Well, guess what? They're right. It wasn't at the right position, because nobody knows. It's a China syndrome. TEPCO themselves even admitted they don't know where the radioactive blob, the corium, has melted through the plants in three of their plants. They don't know where it is. They're upfront about that. And you know, to, to make matters even more clear, it was published here by the embassy again of Switzerland in Japan on January 21st, 2014. There was, you know, they could see from, I guess, the online activity that was going on, there was a big flurry of stuff, and they had to clear it up. The depth of the core was not in scale. No big deal. Hey, guess what, folks? I don't care how deep that corium is. It could be just a foot past the concrete floor. It could be five. It could be eight. It could be 15. It could be 200 feet deep. The fact is we have an ongoing, ch uh, ongoing China syndrome. We have three of them. Three of them, not one. We have three of them. And this is not talked about on the news every day. Anyone who was alive back in the day of Chernobyl... You must remember how, how much that was talked about. The whole thing was uh, under wraps in seven weeks. This is, we're in their third year into this. We have three China syndromes, and these guys aren't talking about it. And wait till you see the headlines here. I've nailed it with this uh, the, uh, the strontium-90. I knew when I read this report in December, I said, this is what we got to stick with. This is going to be the, uh, the real big nasty one here, according to this German study. And I'll show you a little bit more on that. Okay, so like I said here, it's not in scale. We don't care. It doesn't matter about the depth of the core. They've lost control of it. It's unstoppable. Fukushima, I mean, uh, TEPCO themselves said 35 to 45 years before they contain it. Do you know what kind of job they have to go through here to contain this corium? They have to dig a hole here and go underneath the plant and try to collect it as the blob melts down. It's a big, 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 massive undertaking. Little chance. This is why they're talking about now just pouring concrete over it and capping it off because they've lost control of it. They've lost it. Okay, moving along here. The other one it comes from uh, Energy News here on February the 2nd, 2014, just yesterday. Skyrockets. Yeah, the underground water skyrockets. From nothing to 1.7 million becquerels per liter of what? Strontium 90. I'm telling you, the Germans nailed it, folks. You got to stick with this here. I'll show you the study, you know, and then TEPCO, of course, they change the measurements from under analysis to out of range. <laughs> sad, sad, sad. They're doing everything they can to minimize. Okay, so the German study here, and I posted this story before. I'll leave the link again down below if you want to read it and share it with your friends in case they're calling you crazy or whatever. It was from the 1990s, and it was a paralleling the situation at Fukushima. And they went on to say here, after a core meltdown accident, it cannot be completely ruled out that the melt will reach and partly penetrate the concrete foundation. Yeah, it's partially penetrated and passed. They don't know where it is, folks, but we have an ongoing China syndrome. Don't get caught on with all this stuff that people are telling you. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. And I talked about one of the biggest things that I was very concerned about here, that they said that the strontium-90 levels stayed near zero for the first 1,000 days. We're 1,000 what? 60. We're only 60 days kind of over this thing here. And if you've been watching my videos over the last couple of days, I've showed how the levels have already started peaking out here. The last few videos, and I, got a, I just showed you another one here from yesterday. You know, and another thing I was talking about, how the, uh, the, the levels spiked and to dramatically and appear to remain elevated for the next 50,000 or so days. And the other thing I talked about was the highest 
levels of radionuclide concentrations of strontium-90 were after some 5,000 days later. So you think it's bad now? It's only getting worse. Brace yourself, okay? And yes, it's already landed here. The links are down below. Take care, folks. Share with someone you love. It's found in the cattle, found in the chicken. 